So good day students. So today we will discuss about the different foreign business organizations recognized in the Philippines. So in the Philippines class, the government recognizes four forms of foreign business organizations. These businesses are incorporated based on foreign laws and considered representatives of foreign corporations. They are regulated by the government. So, what are those foreign business organizations? So, these are the recognized forms of foreign business organizations that, is, that are recognized in the Philippines. We have the branch office, representative office, regional headquarters, and the regional operating headquarters. So, but before that, no, let's define first what is paid up capital because sige should appear in a word class, no? Sa usa sa mga requirements on how to be recognized or how to put up a foreign business organization sa Philippines. So, you need a paid up capital. So, what is a paid up capital? A paid up capital is also known as paid in capital or contributed capital represents money that is not borrowed. It is the amount of money that is actually received from its investors or shareholders in exchange for share of stocks. So, paid up capital may be in the form of cash, real property, service, equipment, or anything of value. So, money siya class, ha? ang paid up capital daw class, no? may be in several forms, no? it may exist in several forms. Cash, real property, service, equipment, or anything class of value. Pwede siya na paid up capital, na siya yung worth class, ha? Yung mga pa class, no, hindi na siya paid up capital, na siya yung value. So, first class, let's talk about what is a branch office. We're talking about branch office of foreign business organization. Huh? How would we define a foreign business firm when I branch office of Pinas? A branch office is organized to do activities of the head office from the host country. The minimum paid up capital of a branch office is 200,000 US dollar. So, I convert that to class. 1 dollar is equivalent to 50 pesos. So, more or less, class. 20,000 US dollar is 1 million times 10. 10 million pesos class, no? A branch office of a foreign business organization class needs to have a paid up capital of 10 million pesos para makaput up sila o branch office dili sa Philippines. So, this can be lowered to a minimum of 100,000 US dollars if advanced technology is involved or at least 50 employees are directly employed. It is required to register with the SEC. Again, class, what is the meaning of SEC? Securities and Exchange Commission. So, from 10 million pesos na paid up capital na kailangan i-invest, if once it shows sa foreign company class, no? pili doon siya ma-lower. Masukot ang Philippine government class. Okay, you don't have 200,000 US dollars? Okay la, ang minimum paid up capital limo is 100,000 US dollars. That is equivalent to 5 million pesos. But, you have to employ at least 50 employees from us sa Pilipinas class o iba na generate business plus kung sa paman or kung sa man you need na nai transfer of technology na involved no so that nai transfer of skills sa among mga kuan so advanced ba na no tech for techware company pa na imong branch office na ito kung class na nai ka ng ma-accredit sa atong government na 
i employ ni mga Filipino din ha kay na transfer of learning transfer of skills so pwede sad or pinakasayon ka i lower ka na from pita capital of 200,000 US dollars to 100,000 US dollars if 50 employees na Filipinos last i employ sa branch office sa foreign na company ma lower ang ilang nusaman pay up capital So again, class, what is the purpose of branch office? It is organized to do the activities of the head office class from the host country. So, kung sa gibuat sa imong office class noon sa iyang purpose sa imong own country class, same rapot ang branch office, no? Different country but same na functions. No, siya ito ang branch office. So, Next class, we have the representative office. So, what is a representative office? A representative office is fully supported by the head office and does not obtain funds from its main office overseas. It deals directly with the clients of the parent company and engages in business activities such as communication, promotion of products, and quality of products for export. The initial minimum inward remittance is 30,000 US dollar for operating expense that will be equivalent to 1.5 million pesos. It should be registered with the SEC. So, a representative office class, no? siya? It is fully supported by the head office. It will be McDonald's in US, McDonald's in the Philippines. For pa na, example lang, ang natin sa sorry ni McDonald's para makakonceptualize mo kung sa Diyod. But, it does not obtain funds. Wala siya yung funds. Hindi ka niya ihatagi ka sa iyang head office para sa iya class. Stand alone siya ng company. Siya yung bahala mangita. Dili o ka ng tuan. Wala siya yung ka ng funds na ma-receive gigan sa head company niya. Ang iya ng purpose class, it deals directly with the clients of the parent company and engages in business activities such as communication, promotions of products, and quality control of the products. So, here are, ang purpose ng office class A for communication. So, na may mga queries and concerns, representative office mo add to class. Diba? And quality control. No? And, sa pamang class, promotion of products, no? They promote us sa product class, but they don't sell the product. They promote lang, no? Kaya representative office naman sila. Mora d'yo nila. Limited sila sa communication, queries, promotions, and quality control of the products for export. So, the initial minimum inward limitance, so kailangan sila of 30,000 US dollars or 1.5 million pesos operating expenses. And it should be registered with a SEC. So, what is the difference between a branch office and representative office? A branch office office class K. Same shall function sa iyang head office. But ang representative office, limited rang iyang function. Kutog na siya o promotion, quality control, and communication. Just like dili ka mamaligya class, ang nagtukod na ka representative office para ka na nga region class, ka na nga country sa Pilipinas na to class, magkuan na. Kung nasa lang mga concern about your product, ang ibaligya, dito sila mo, sulti. Where's the liaison office ba? Liaison na channel. Niya, ang representative office ang magpadala sa head office. Unlike sa branch office, last na, kung sa gibuat sa head office, mo sa nang gibuat sa branch office, di ba? Same sila function. Then, next class, we have the Regional Headquarters. So, this is an example of the Regional Headquarters of Shopee Glass in Hong Kong. No, salamat Shopee. So, what is a Regional Headquarters Glass? How would we define Regional Headquarters in the context of organization and management? So, Regional Headquarters only performs activities that primarily involve supervision, communication, and coordination. It serves as a coordinating center to its subsidiaries, affiliates, and branches in the regions and act as an administrative branch of a multinational company. So, 
its purpose and function relies mainly on administration and supervision class. No, wala siyang maligya class. Di na yung concern. Ang yung concern is how to supervise your business, how to administrate your business. No, mana siya na regional headquarters. Usually class no mga nadira ang mga supervisors o mga managers no in overseas. Kung sa man kamo sa man ang trajectory sa tung business class, asa man siya is it going down or going up, di ba? It does not drive income within the Philippines and does not participate in managing a branch in the Philippines. A capital of fifty US, fifty thousand US dollars required as an annual operating expense. Take for example, class, an iPhone. Example lang ha. Magtuko, tuko siya o. Regional headquarters in the Philippines. Matawal siya regional headquarters class if kung sa man wala siya branch sa Pilipinas class. Na pero namo siya branch sa Pilipinas. Di ba namo tay iPhone din ng mga kuan class. Ang tawo kana class din na siya regional headquarters, regional operating headquarters. You can only say na regional headquarters if your company has a headquarters set up in the Philippines but does not engage kung sa man class. Does not participate in managing a branch in the Philippines. Meaning, wala kay branch dili sa Philippines lahat sa inyong mother na country. Okay, kung naa kay branch sa Philippines lahat niya, nag-operate po ka ng tao ka na dili regional headquarters. Regional operating headquarters. So, ang regional headquarters lahat, kailangan ka o 50,000 US dollars or 2.5 million pesos para maka-operate sa Pilipinas. Then, let's move on. Sir, kung saan ang kalayanan sa regional headquarters ka ni kung sa regional operating headquarters? Ano siya, class? The regional operating headquarters performs the following service to its affiliates, subsidiaries, and branches in the Philippines. Administration and planning, acquisition of raw materials, marketing, technical support, and communication, and research and development. It derives its income from its activities in the country. The required capital is two hundred thousand US dollars as one-time payment. Same sa branch office, di ba? Pila minimum pila capital two hundred thousand dollars or ten million pesos. Pero kung matukod ka o regional headquarters diri na di wala kay branch diri lang ka matukod kay sa Pilipinas lang ka matukod kay mahal sa Jakarta, Indonesia, mahal sa Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, mahal sa Singapore, okay. malang building, Pilipinas lang ka, pero, di ba, you have your product, example, you're a foreign company, but you have a product distributed sa Asia, di ba, all over Asia, Singapore, Jakarta, Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam, Thailand, but, you're a European company, di ba, layo ka sa Asia, and you need to be closer to your clients, You need to have original headquarters. Kaya bumi naman yung mong business. So, nag-scout ka o mga countries na pan. And then you decided to reside in the Philippines to put up original headquarters. Pero, wala kay branch sa Philippines, di ba? Wala mong ka, wala pa mong yung mong pan din eh. Or, bisag na kay, bisag na kay ka ng baligyat product din eh. But, wala kay branch din eh. Mga third party sources sa palito na yung mga product din eh. But, ang image yung, the presence of your products are located somewhere else sa Asia, Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia. But, tungkol kay Baratok, ang pag-setup of headquarters sa Pilipinas kaya sa other na countries sa Southeast Asia, you decided to put a regional headquarters here sa Pilipinas. Ang tawag ka na class, regional headquarters. Diba? That headquarters class, that office primarily involves in supervision, communication, and coordination of your product sa within the region sa Southeast Asia, but kung sa man, you do not engage and participate in managing a branch in the Philippines. Ang imuha na dito, supervision and administration. Sir, what if, sir, napod siya ka ng headquarters kayo, mo participate po siya o manage sa mga branch dili sa Pilipinas kayo, naapod siya sa branch sa Pilipinas. Then, class, ang tawag niya, dili na regional headquarters. Regional operating headquarters na siya, muna niya siya ang number four. It performs the following service aside from administrating and supervising. No, it also acts as, kung saan, 
supervised acquisition of raw materials, marketing, technical support and communication, research and development. So, monitoring sa regional headquarters and regional operating headquarters. Comprende? So, again, class, what are the different business organiz foreign business organizations that are recognized in the Philippines? We have the branch office, the representative office, the regional headquarters, and regional operating headquarters. So, paid up capital definition of a minimum paid up capital sa each sa mga foreign business organization. Please remember that. 200,000 US dollars for both kung saman, regional operating headquarters and branch office sa regional headquarters kailangan ka o 50,000 US dollars sa representative office kailangan ka o 30,000 US dollars Sir, asa na makita? Sir, gali mo na ko, sir Read your book Ano na sa salibotanan? Okay, then let's move on sa next part sa atong topic Classification of business So, what are the classification of business class? So, we have three. Service, merchandising, and manufacturing. So, in service class, in a service class, classification of business class, no? it is a type of business that provides labor and other services to customers. Examples are transportation companies like airlines and shipping lines, professional services like accounting, legal, engineering, and customer service, entertainment like amusement parks and movie houses, hotels and restaurants, apartments, bank and lending companies, event planners, telecommunication services, medical services, media, and many others. Bottom line, as long as you offer service, no? Mga service, mga servisyo yung i-offer class para maka-income ka, ang tawag sa inyong business class, kay service business, no? Sample class, inyong trabaho class, kay Tikin mo na si mong best friend na gwapo siya para librihan ka o pagkaulog, that's lip service, no? That's not no? same siya o pag siya business, no? Ha? Again, basta service ang inyong business class, service oriented, then your service ang classification yun, ha? Nakatagang servisyo in return, in exchange of money, of income, ha? Then next is, we have the Merchandising, di ba? Sa so, unang last na. Je Kung saan siya? Procopius, general merchandise. Yeah. It is a type of business that purchases product from other businesses like manufacturers and sells them to customers at a higher retail price. Examples are grocery stores, supermarkets, car dealers, real estate dealers, and electronic stores. So from the definition class, usaran siya ang kwan sa merchandising business. Buy and sell. Palit ka bag class at 500, ibaligyan mo at 600, no? Muna siya. Ginan siya pa o oh, 100. So, merchandise na siya. Huwag kayo gihin mong something nyo. Buy and sell na siya. Same sa grocery stores, di ba? Plus sa mga factory o shampoo class at 3 pesos, ibaligyan nila at 350, di ba? O ano, retail or wholesale. Regardless, that is what you call merchandising. No? Buy and sell. Sari-sari store, mangumpra ka sa carbon, O prutas class, tagis ang kilo, ibaligyan mo 20 ang kilo. Same, no? Wala kayo gihihin mo nga something new. Buy and sell. That's merchandising. Comprende? Hmm. And the last one. We have the manufacturing. Hmm. Kita ba itong incredible hawk class? Itong nakasya sa Brazil. Nga. Nagtrabaw siya sa factory. Nga. Nagdugo yung kamot, diba? Natusok siya. Nga. Ang yang dugo kay nato sa soft drinks, wala ra ako ng istorya, wala to siya ilabot sa itong discussion, no? Kung may mata na ako, kung kay baba mo. Let's have manufacturing class. A manufacturing is a type of business where raw materials are transformed into finished goods through product processing labor and other manufacturing processes. Examples include manufacturers of soap and detergent, canned goods, automobiles, and medical drugs. So, there are other businesses that cannot be classified into any of the three types like agriculture, aquaculture, and mining companies. So, sa itong lesson class, no, let's just um, focus on these three. Service, merchandising, and manufacturing. Again, class, manufacturing, 
palika raw materials plus printed mga sand no imo i transform into botilya plus bottles this manufacturing no raw product process and product mhm mm palika tela gitahi sa unsa spray class ang ending school uniforms that manufacturing diba cloth process uniforms oh manufacturing unsa pa man class palika papel ni binding mo ending notebooks um manufacturing na siya class no you pay something new basta raw raw materials process and product o oh, manufacturing nga siya no di palit ka o oh, raw materials di baligyan din mo siya into another product that's manufacturing so again recap what are the classification of businesses in the Philippines no we have three service merchandising and manufacturing so questions wala okay online ta so thank you that would be all class I hope you've learned something today So, see you on our next topic.